I don't understand how Mr. Krabs, Mrs. Puff, and basically all these other civilians managed to make it this far into jellyfish fields when there's a ton of robots and fire caves that you had to get through to get this far. Hey everybody, it's the Mechmaster14. Welcome back to more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Man, that's a mouthful. In the last episode, we navigated through Jellyfish Caves, unlocked Patrick before we navigated through the caves, and we got to the Jellyfish Canyons. In this episode, we're going to be starting off by switching to, back to SpongeBob. SpongeBob, or something we need to use SpongeBob for, and let's get playing. Okay, starting things off this is a shh tiki. SpongeBob left to sneak up in order to destroy it. To sneak, move the L stick very gently or press ZL. Apparently, may throw things at it from a distance. Okay, so this is actually really useful. So you can actually use ZL to sneak, so. But this is much more handy. Because before it took like a long time to do this. And let's blow up all those Thunder Tiki's to blow up the Duplicatotron. And blow up the Tartar Sauce guy. Get a checkpoint. Bypass the annoying waterfalls that were only annoying in the other version of the game. And okay, that's a little strange. I remember there being a sock up there. And I just died. What is this? It's like glitched. And I just died again. That was weird. I they kept taking damage. I'm not sure if there was like supposed to be some weird glitched tartar sauce on the ground, but I don't know what was happening. Also, I'm not sure what that thing was, but whatever. Screw you. Wait, do I take damage from just bumping into you? Alright, Sunshine will only need to come back here when he knows the cruise ball move. Alright, so we can't do anything with this thing now. That's lame. Can I just... Can I take damage from just bumping into robots? Also, is there a sock up there? I think there Fresh, is. Like a spring breeze. Okay, may, maybe I was thinking of the sock up there, because I, I do see... Yeah, there's definitely a sock up there. Didn't look like I took damage from that guy. Alright, screw you. Yeah, I don't know why I was just randomly taking damage before. Alright, this is a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed by ordinary moves. You only, you only need to blow up thunder tiki's. I feel me like a new I need it. And. Yeah, duplicate trying to think you can find that like wall of stone breeze. tiki's. Well, I have a thunder burn. tiki. Bye. And Bye. I got a super monster Bye. combo that has a lot of Can't shiny objects. Thousands, actually. And this clam would have cost uh, 150 shiny objects to open this gate, but I had a failed recording of this where I just was bad. Anyways, continuing upwards. We have more tartar sauce enemies. Oh, yay! He died instantly because he fell in the water. Let me destroy that gun. I think there's some things we can do up here with Patrick if we actually did manage to make it all the way up here with, the, with him instead of SpongeBob. But I'm pretty sure Nora actually finished this area. We're going to need to use SpongeBob, so that's why I switched back to him. Uh, uh, you can't get me because I'm up here. Let's blow up those Thunder Tiki's beforehand. Then I, need to, then I think we need to jump onto this giant rotating platform. Then make a perfect jump. 
to yeah, hey, get this stuff. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Then we can bounce back up here. And let's destroy these cameras. And these tiki's while we're at it. Don't even think I hit the second one, but I'll take it. And I'm pretty sure this takes us back to the other box down lower. Ouch! I feel like a new we'll sponge. Get the underwear. I love get an ultra presents. combo from all those tiki's. Tartar sauce! The horror! And we'll wait for the tartar sauce guy to do his thing. Kill him. And then I'm pretty sure we can drop down here somewhere. Maybe down this way? All right, there we go. We can get the sock. Another find for Patrick. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we only need to get like, there's only like one other, one other sock we can get up there. There's a freezy fruit right there for those of you who are trying to freeze lakes. Okay. I remember there being grass on this giant thing in the original game. Also, we. Okay, this is actually kind of hard. Because it's actually like colliding with us. There we go. That was Damn honestly Blair. hilarious, but it was also a little bit of a challenge to try and actually get up there. I'll hats off to you if you can make that jump. I've never been able to. We'll blow this up, and it should blow up everything else. Yes, yeah, super monster combo. We'll try not to get caught by that. We can use a bus stop. Oh, SpongeBob can jump up walls when this symbol appears. Against the side of the wall, press A to jump again. All right, so wall jumping Mario style. I believe in the original game, there's actually put. Nah, these were replaced with like weird SpongeBob faces, I guess. Not sure how we're supposed to get over there, or if there's anything over there. Also, I like how the platforms that we can jump on in the water are shaped like corks. Uh, how many things do we have in jellyfish fields? 11 out of 14. I think we're right on track. And I believe we're about to fight King Jellyfish. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I won't need any luck. I probably will, but I'm going to say Fresh, I don't like because a spring breeze. that'll make me seem like a stronger guy in front of my viewers, even though I've been <laughs> I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? Slap him. Okay, I like that. SpongeBob, you're a giant peeping Tom for spying on this King Jellyfish while he was taking a shower. And also, why why was he wearing a shower cap when he had no hair? Alright, so overall it seems pretty similar to start off. Take that! He's sum summoning his jellyfish minions and Ow! Ow. Alright, it looks like his tentacles now do damage if you walk if you walk into them. Yeah, who knew that a jellyfish's tentacles would be. I feel harmful. like a new sponge. Alright, there we go. It's Finishing slap. Okay, I think that's just telling us what we need to do. Fresh like a spring right now breeze. he's summoning more jellies. Pretty sure we're gonna want to steer clear of most of them. And also, get away from me! There we go. That wasn't hard. <laughs> Oh, 
We need to get the jelly. There we go, we got it. Also, dude, I didn't want you, I didn't want to force you out of your house. I just wanted to get your jelly. <laughs> that sounded really bad. Anyways, we ha we found a teleport box right there. And we also have an awesome slide. I love opening presents. Oh, missed the 50. And now wait did I I think I completely screwed that up. Yeah, that was not a good run on that slide. Thankfully, we can easily teleport back. By the way, I feel really sorry for you if you didn't know that teleport box was there because then you'll have to hike all the way back up. All right, let's do it the right way this time. What we need to do is we actually need to jump off here and then into the side of a wall Oh, th he put me backwards! Thank you, Mr. Hand. You put me on the... That was weird. You put me on the slide backwards! Thank you. Thank you very much for that. That was weird. I was like, wait, what the... Like, okay, keep going. Ready where, where for another on? fantastic And now we have to restart day. the entire slide over. Also, why is the shower running? And again, I really love this slide music, it's so awesome. Alright, we want to take this alternate path right here. And Boy, then, yes, we got the be glad to have this back. I think that's all the socks we can get in Jellyfish Fields right now. And unfortunately, we still have to get the Golden Spatula. Dang it! So hard. All right, let's try it again. We, we gotta keep trying until we succeed. Is there any way we can pick up speed? Probably not. All right, let's take the long way this time since we took the shortcut. I kind of want to show the entire slide. Super combo, mega combo. Go, let's keep the combo going. Super monster combo. What other combos can we get? I think that's the deepest we're gonna get. There we go! Just had to jump at the right time. I believe that's all the golden spatulas we can really get in jellyfish fields. Wait, did I not get this one? Hold on. Defeat King Jellyfish, navigate the canyons and mesas. Uh, the slide leap, I feel like I missed the golden spatula. I swear, I feel like I missed a golden spatula. We had one that said navigate the canyons and mesas that we should have gotten right before we head up to King Jellyfish, but I don't know. Do we miss it? I swear we probably missed it. So let's head back down and see where the hell I missed it. Can't believe I, I can't believe I missed the golden spatula. That is bad considering I've played this game many times before. The older version, not this new one. I was right there. All right, you can feel free to call me stupid in the comments for missing this. Ow. Screw you, Tarzos. I'm already, already feeling bad. Ah. Let's go to defeat King Jellyfish. I'm pretty sure we get that golden spatula from returning Squidward the jelly, or giving it to him. 
Can't believe I, I can't believe I missed the golden spatula. That was that obvious. And feel free to make fun of me in the comments because I feel stupid for missing that. And also, I guess we're doing the slide again. I feel like a new spot. Actually, we can just take the teleport box down to the bottom. Because as much as I like the slide, I don't want to do it again. Also, apparently this water doesn't hurt us. Which ma doesn't make sense why the water is hurting us when we jump into it, because we live in water. And also, let's talk to Larry. See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Not sure what you're talking about, but thanks. And also, let's take this very long trampoline all the way back to Squidward. Also, SpongeBob looks hilarious when he's on those trampolines. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Okay, it, I swear it looked, in that cutscene it looked like Squidward was rubbing the jelly on his butt. Not sure what he was doing rubbing the jelly presents. all over his butt, but if that's the way he swings, okay. Anyways, that is all the time we're going after this episode. I did get all the golden spatulas and all the socks we can get at this moment. Next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we're going to be heading on to newer areas and hopefully you not just missing met golden spatulas like an idiot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe because that really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. McMaster, out.